third part of Override Viruses. In this video we are gonna see how Visual Basic Script Viruses works. Visual Basic Script is a very powerful tool and it could be very dangerous. Love Letter proves this in 2000. Lot of malware was created and VVS and still most people don't even hear about this file type. Of course, it could be very helpful and handful during hacking. To create scripts in this language, you need only Notepad. And that's mean that this file could be created by CMD for example, and from Backshell as well. In certain circumstances, this script could be also run by Microsoft Edge and execute on your PC. That's why the script language was so popular. So, in next Real Hacking series video, I will show you that this could be very, very dangerous. But I can't give you the source codes. Why? My first video from Real Hacking series was deleted by YouTube. YouTube don't want you to see Real Hacking. They prefer script kiddies entering comments to Kali Linux. In this video I will show you example of how to run find files in Edge. So, you will be able to see that malware really could access your files from browser. And yo YouTube, Microsoft still allow users to use VBS in browser and this code doesn't hurt anyone, so chill out. I like to call VBS the Python of Windows and you will see why. Let's see virus in action. Algorithm doesn't change in this case. First, we need file path to read. In this case, we are gonna use script full name property from wscript object. Now self reading. If virus have path to file, is able to self read. To get access to file operation, we have to create file system object which I call system or FSO. If virus have path, then is able to self-read. But first, have to open file by open text file. Then, use read all method. It's a decussional video, so virus checks only local folder. First, virus needs path to folder. This is jab for get parent folder. And if we use folder method files, then we will be able to read files in this directory. 
It's similar to Python finding files. Infection is like in every case standard file operation procedure. Open file by open text file. Then use this file object, write and close. Let's go to code explanation. To get script path, Various uses wscript property, script full name. Easiest way to communicate with user, in this case, will be message box, just like in WinAPI. In VBS, we can also use document write in HTML or wscript echo. Let's see how it's working. Everything works fine. Let's change name and check. Everything works fine. If various have path is able to self-read. It is much way easier in this example. We don't have to allocate memory. We don't have to know size of file. VBS allocate memory dynamically, so we don't have to pay attention to it. First various open file to read. Then use read all method and close file. Let's see if it is working. Like you can see we have whole file in memory and in message box. Here I will show you how dangerous VBS was years ago. We will test finding files, local and remote, from file, like always, and in Edge browser. Edge can execute a VBS file under certain conditions. It has to be run in Internet Explorer mode. User must accept execution. Years ago, there were many exploits in Internet Explorer that automatically launch VBS files. Imagine you visit a website and your computer gets infected, even if exploit was in email. This type of attack is one of the variants of the attack called drive-by download. One of the most dangerous attacks ever. This is the reason why you shouldn't use Edge and why you shouldn't visit Dark Web on your PC. To be precise, I have to tell you that all zero days exploits on browsers are drive-by download types of attacks. These are some of the most expensive exploits in history and very often used by governments. Let's see how finding files in VBS works. It's very similar to Python. Of course, episode of malware in Python will be on channel and much more VBS. First, from file. If virus have path to file, it can use get parent folder that returns path to current folder. Next step is use get folder method, and now virus can use files method. Listing files is simple for each loop. Estercom checking if value returned by get extension name is equal to VBS. If it is, Virus knows that this file could be infected. Let's test it.
everything works fine. To test this example in Edge, I need to enable Internet Explorer mode, which is disabled by default. Like you can see code of HTML is little bit different than previous. We can't use script full name in this case. I have to give path to folder to list files in this example. Let's load this file into Edge and see what happens. Now I have to reload this in EA mode. If you see this message, believe me it's better to turn it off. You should never click yes if you see this message. And that's why. Like you can notice it's exactly the same file listing like from previous example. But long time ago it could happen without your knowledge. Most of you will be wondering if hacker can steal these files. And the answer is yes. This is what I show you in next video from Real Hacking Series. But I can't give you the source codes and explain how it's work because of YouTube policy. VBS was supposed to be a Microsoft answer to JavaScript but it becomes one of most dangerous platform for malware ever. Infection is standard file operation procedure. First virus create file that exists by create text file. One as a second argument means if this file exists, will be overwrite. Then write virus to it and close. Let's see one more time how it's look in debug mode. New script virus has been created. Let's check how many AV systems can detect it. Only one AV system from 60 could detect this file. 12 can't even check this file type. That's a shame!
I will leave this without a comment. Thanks for watching! Stay safe and always pay attention to file extension.